Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com and I wanted to show you how to not only refill one of these um, torch lighters but I also wanted to show you how to purge it because I've been getting quite a few emails asking how to refill these and had a few issues with them not working correctly so this should clear up all that and it also shows you how to use the lighter um, now these do go through gas kind of quick not not too bad though if you're only using it a little bit um, I'm gonna actually let this one run out of gas I'm gonna run this for a second and you can't really see the flame but you can hear it um, let me see if I can maybe shut off a couple of my lights here so you can see this flame there we go so I'm just gonna let this go for a minute um, now on the bottom of these lighters there is a dial this dial you can turn up or down and it'll, it basically controls the, the amount of gas that comes out right now it's all the way up you can turn this down until it goes out now it is possible to turn it up past that point if you do that it will kind of start to sputter a little bit and that's not really all that great for the lighter I just got a little more gas in here than I thought it did yeah we're getting down there sorry about that I thought this was going to go a little quicker than it is <laughs> alright we're starting to sputter and now we're out. So I'm going to close this. So to refill these, it's pretty simple. You go to the hardware store and you buy this butane. This is um, the Ronson brand. And I've got a small bottle here. It's almost three ounces. This is almost double the size. Um, I have literally filled this lighter at least 25 times. And I would say I still got about a quarter of a can left. This will last you a long, long time. I use one of these every day when I'm cutting up paracord and packaging it. So I go through this stuff pretty quick. Um, I got about a half a can of this left. Both of these, when you open it, you'll notice it's got a plastic tip on there. That is what you insert into the lighter. Now these, these tail end, these pieces here, these come off. And for the lighters that don't, they will still have this little connection down at the bottom. Let's get you zoomed into that. So you'll have one of these down here at the bottom. Now, when you run out of when you run out of gas, there's still going to be a little bit of fluid inside of here. So you want to purge the system, which is real easy to do. I mean, you could do it with any of these tools here. Um, screwdriver, the tip of a fid. This works really well. Um, another screwdriver and you can also use your smoothing tool to do this um, I'll show you what to do here you just find that center that little center pin in there and you just push down on it and you do that a couple times it's spring loaded you just want to do that until the hissing stops and then basically you're ready to fill this and to fill this it's real simple you just take your your butane which is in the can here plug it into that hole there and then fill your lighter and that's all there is to it now this is filled you can hear the flame going again you might not be able to see it but it's going so this is ready to go you just take your end cap there your dial this is what turns it up and down now if you lose this it's not a big deal because you can still you can control you can control it with a flathead screwdriver because there's a little notch in there um, that goes back on and then you're ready to go now if for some some reason you're hearing gas come out but it won't light it's probably be probably because you have this turned up way too high and it's just not it's not allowing ignition so just dial that back a couple times and if you have to if it's up too high what you can do is turn it down until it stops take this off 
put it back on in a different spot and then it'll allow you to turn it down even further so that could be a, uh, an issue also but that's about it really I think you can get this bigger can um, I, I don't think I spent more than five dollars for this can and the smaller one is around three or four so it's if you go through a lot of it get the big can it'll last you forever thanks for watching and paracord on